So this is a great chance to uh, explore passing arguments to uh, to our amount of art uh, amount of a after create block kind of thing. Um, so let's green drive a transient value. So we can say uh, maybe album count. Let's actually set this to one. Uh, and at this point, the way we're going to assert this, uh, it has many albums. Um, I want to make, be real explicit and say that uh, as an album count two. So I would expect album dot all our album count to at this point we're going to say equal uh, three. I would expect artist albums count to equal two. Okay. Uh, that looks great. We're going to get a nice error. That's like, you don't have album count defined. It's gonna give me a bunch of sass, but we're gonna like deal with it. We're gonna dive into transient values. So album count, not a thing. Let's make it a thing. We're gonna set up this transient do block. We're gonna say album count. Uh, let's set it by default to three. Okay. Leave that is, uh, and then here, or no, okay. This actually goes above the create. Okay. And the reason that is, is because transient is creating this kind of uh, like scoped variable called the evaluator. So I'm gonna pass in the evaluator, and I have access to everything in the transient block. So in this case, I can call album count instead of two. So what's happening is, okay, upon creating an artist with albums, we're going to set this transient value of album count to three. And then when I, on the after create block, I'm going to uh, use that evaluator from the transient block to define the amount of albums to be made in this create list. So if I don't give anything, it'll say three. Okay, uh, just to see that, let's go ahead and take out this default. So we should expect to have three made from this and one made from this. So this should be four and uh, that would fail and then we'll get two. So if we come to our spec, we saved everything. Awesome, so we expected three and got four, just like we said. So let's define album count as two. These lovely tests to pass. And the reason I'm overriding it here is just to be more explicit. Um, if I use the default as three, um, it would be less clear about the, the, the assertions I'm making. In this case, it's a little more clear that, okay, we made two albums here, one album here. Album should have three and the artist albums should be two. Okay, um, awesome. So I learned a little bit there too, which is great. And we have now handled uh, after blocks. Um, let's try to actually uh, implement a, a similar approach with traits. I mentioned in class that I have actually not used uh, traits before. So let's create an artist um, with, I want the trait with albums. Okay, and let's also do album count two or one. Okay, so I should get an unregistered trait or maybe factory with albums, cool. Um, so here, let's go ahead and say trait with albums two and, okay. And I think we're actually going to want to do something like um, just in here. So let's let's just try throwing all this into the trait. So we're doing a similar thing where we have album count, and after the create, uh, we want to set we want to make an album that's tied to this artist. Okay. Ooh. Um. So this is great. So I'm a little surprised that worked. Uh, 
just because I was totally guessing. But we have defined instead of a factory, we are defining a trait that's called with albums. And since it is a factory, uh, we have similar capabilities and it's all still nested within artist. So I have access to the artist factory here and I can still have this transient uh, attribute. And in this case, it's a little more um, modular, I think, and I kind of like it that way. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and delete artist with albums. Okay. And that way, um, I just have a trait that I can add uh, to an artist. Let's go ahead and again, we'll replace this with albums, albums count. Cool. That's awesome. I really like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into the genre spec. Here again, let's say genre equals uh, build. Genre. We need the name. Okay, so the, some of these tests were existing, um, but let's go ahead and uh, name folk. Okay, so delete that. Um, expect genre to respond to name. Expect that to work. So we're going to get genre. So here again, we're overriding. And one of the nice things, this is a, a common, like to be really explicit with your tests, um, you might uh, expect a different, um, maybe in a feature test, we would expect to see genre.name on the page. But by explicitly saying what this is, it kind of guarantees that you won't get any weird bugs. Like what if name accidentally got set to an empty string and where you're going to expect to see an empty string on a page, which is like always going to happen. So that would be kind of a, a bug in the test. Awesome. Let's replace all of these. And this time we're just going to do it in line. So let's delete that. And this was a media type. Media type. Um, let's see if we can just run with that. I believe we already have our uniqueness set up. Good to go. We'll delete C. We're going to create an album. It needs to go here. And in this case, so we're looking at genres and we just needed again this this idea that tracks needed to be legit. Um, so instead of diving in, we're like showing that we can refactor again still. Um, but really, I just want to show that a genre has many tracks. So let's just go ahead and say that I don't need any of this. Uh, I'll leave this set up for a second. But again, all of this was there just to make valid tracks, which we'll get to. Track has a lot of validations on it. Um, but really, I can just create a list of tracks, right? Let's go ahead and delete that. And similar to albums, I can just say create list of track, let's say three. And I want the genre to be genre. Let's make, so we're going to be using this genre here, R&B. And then I want to make another one that has genre two. So I will uh, just make one track with genre two. We can get rid of this. So again, just making it so readable, so lovely. Uh, let's go ahead and create a genre. Okay. And with a name, keep doing that. Apologies, uh, genre two, we will just add this, that, genre, name. I wanna just delete this um, to use the default, I believe is folk. We are now at 29 minutes or 29 seconds left in the video. Um, let me see, we don't need media type anymore. We don't need album. Um, let's just see what we're looking at. We'll get that failing test. Um, let's go ahead and pause the video. We'll continue uh, from here and we'll get, we'll get this test passing. Uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with me.